This is Dave McCain with the Right Tree Genealogy doing another Family Finder video. And this one is to cover something that came up, uh, how to find the haplogroups with the Family Finder. This is the, a quick video just to show you what I did and what I've been doing. You're not always going to find the matches uh, in your YSTR matches. Sometimes the people only have Family Finder, and this shows you how to find them. And then, hey, you could encourage them to join your project and as an admin to get the person to try to upgrade into a big Y in the future. So I'm just going to show a quick way of how to find them, what I've done, how what I'm doing, and, and uh, hopefully this helps you out. So I've logged into my father's kit here, and I'm going to go into his Family Finder. And I'm going to see if we can search some haplogroups and show you how to do it. Now, in this particular case, I'm going to show you what to do for you to quickly find out if one you're looking for is there or if it's not there. And then the next thing I'm going to do is go to another example where I'm trying to find one that's further upstream that would literally be just a family finder result. I'm in my father's uh, kit. And I'm going to go over here and I'm going to make a couple quick changes. One, you can choose to go in the Family Finder and go down and click Haplo Group. And then you can type in one that you're looking for. And I'm just going to do FTA47 and see if I get any results. Well, I did this one on purpose because right here is actually me to my father and we're in the same haplo group i do show the shared center morgans and everything but it shows i was able to type in at the top in the search in the family uh, finder category you can change it to haplo group and then you just type in the one you're looking for okay now let's do a more simplistic one and see if there's any one nines l one nines no you don't have to put the r dash for instance r dash uh, FTA, right? You don't have to put the R, but you can put the R. I just made this up. We're doing this on the fly here. These are matches uh, that show up. This is a person that is an FTA 75367. I'm not showing their names for privacy reasons. I'm simply showing how you can do this search. So you do not have to put the beginning part of the haplogroup. Just put the what you're looking for. Like I said, FTA and hit enter. And this will show all the matches that have a, have a haplogroup that starts with FTA. And then if I do 4-7, then it goes down. It says right here, the number on the page, there's one match, and that happens to be me. Now, that's all fine and dandy. You know, I said, well, I knew how to do that one. Well, what if you're wanting to find something more mundane? Let's just say, I want to know every person that is an M269 that I match with. Here we go. It's showing all these matches here that have that uh, designation to them. There are 258 that show up that have the M269. Now, most of us would know that that's way upstream and not one you would normally search, but if you wanted to see those that have that particular haplogroup, you can do so. Now, I'm going to, you just saw that 259. Now, I'm going to do it just for the sake uh, so you understand what I'm saying. You don't have to have that added, but I'm going to go ahead and put it on there. Watch what happens. Because these haplogroups are typically unique, notice this still says the same. 258. What I am going to do one real quick one here that I don't expect to find show up, but I'm going to do it anyway. A1706. I have no matches to A1706. How about 1720? No, A1720. Now, I'm going to go over and show you that there is a person that will show a match that's just Family Finder this way that's in my project and actually we found him we've asked him talking to him to join the project and those things and it turns out that this person is a certain number of cousinship to the member and if we could get him to upgrade we think we're going to help 
that area of the big Y haplo tree. I've zoomed in on another one of our testers' kits, and obviously here's his here's his matches on here on the system. He's got one at the top that is listed as a first cousin, a great or uncle, and those type of things. Well. I've changed this to Y Haplo group, and I've changed, I'm typing in the one I'm looking for. I'm looking for 17-0. Now, after I've been doing this, I've put out several videos so far. I tell people, you know, in our case, we know our project will show up. That's the best we're going to get in our area. Someone that has a 1706 or 1708 or 1720, one of those three will show up, depending uh, if the if it's a newer kit or an older kit, either way, one will show up more than the other. But the whole key to this is, we know that we want to look at any of them that have an A17-0 in, in a family finder. This particular person, he has one that shows up as A1706. I just mentioned we're looking for A1706s. This person is not in our project. So the invitation can be sent. The importance to this is if we can get this individual in, it can help that big Y area, the terminal SNP area, if we can get this individual to upgrade to a big Y. So this, again, the purpose of this video was to show to you how you hit the search button, what to pull on in your family finder, and that you can type a specific, once you change it to this setting over here, you can change this to a family finder you want, a uh, haplo group you want to look on and see if a person has actually has a family finder that has given a, a, a Y haplo group. So that's it. Uh, simply that. I want to show you a couple of examples of this and how to do it and how to search. If you're a project admin, you go in and find what haplo group you want to look up and you type it in there to see if if it's showing up. You can search through them more detail wise. There's another way I've done a video showing how to do it, but this is the quickest way. If you have specific haplo groups, you want to see if they're showing up. For instance, right here, we already know that an A1706 is showing up. We know, we already knew from uh, previous experience over the last several months that a person will show up at A1706 and is significant enough for us to look at. Not every 1706 is going to have the surname, the Barton surname by any means, but we're going to invite those that have this to the project to help define the area more specifically. If you're an admin, this is great. If you're not an admin, in your own personal project, you want to look up your, see if someone matches you specifically to yours. You can't find them. Uh, for some reason, you're not finding them in the Y side of it. See if they're showing up in the Family Finder side as well. It may give you an opportunity to uh, find someone to, to ask the test further uh, if they're not at a big Y already. I hope this type of content is helping you. If you like it, please subscribe right here or watch some of this other content. Let's continue learning together.